Anthrax is not a modern disease. Scholars have speculated that the fifth and sixth plagues of the Bible were in fact anthrax. But what has anthrax meant at different times, in different places, and to different people? In the mid-19th century, a mysterious condition arose amongst those working in the wool trade. It was to be known as wool sorter's disease. This condition, which we would know today as anthrax, was particularly prevalent in and around Bradford. Represented as the hooded figure of death, Anthrax hung over the working man of West Yorkshire. A local medical practitioner, John Henry Bell, began to investigate the condition. Bell was the first to connect wool sorter's disease with anthrax. In 1905, Frederick William Urich was appointed bacteriologist to the Anthrax Investigation Board. Urich had to turn Bell's work with a microscope into an industrial scale solution. Urich's own paintings of the condition were used on this cautionary poster which would hang for over 20 years on the walls of factories. Uric identified the most dangerous classes of wool. These were then subject to mandatory disinfection. A purpose-built disinfection station was opened at Liverpool in 1920. Urich was hailed, even in his lifetime, as the vanquisher of this disease. But anthrax still persists, even today. The 1940s saw Britain experiment with anthrax as a weapon off the western coast of Scotland. The island would remain contaminated until 1990. There was 9-11 and then there was anthrax. Remember the envelopes of poison sent to members of Congress and major news organizations just weeks after the World Trade Center attacks? They killed five people and for a time made opening the mail a nerve-wracking ordeal. The anthrax of the past is very different to the anthrax of the present. But it holds the same fear for those who may be exposed to it an ancient disease of many faces. <laughs>